So today's video is a very important video. This is one that I think a lot of people are not consciously aware of. And this is one thing that will absolutely, absolutely change your life. And that is the power of intentions and intention setting and living an intentional life. So what I really want to talk about today is the importance of living intentionally, how living intentionally will change your life, and really how intentions are the language of the universe. If you're ready to get your mind blown to transform your life, then you're going to want to watch this video because we're going big, baby. Let's fucking go. What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. On this channel, we'll be talking about spirituality, manifestation, mindset, wellness, and whatever the heck else I feel like talking about. So by now, we all know, if you're watching this YouTube channel anyway, you know that everything is energy. This is backed up by quantum physics. This isn't some esoteric concept anymore. It's backed by quantum physics. So everything is energy absolutely everything which means that at all times whether we are verbally communicating or not we are still communicating and they say that verbal communication is the smallest percentage of how we communicate it's in our tone of voice it's in our posture it's in our facial expression it doesn't just happen through words so when I say that intentions are the language of the universe what do I mean what I mean is that since everything in the universe is energy, the way we primarily communicate is with our intentions. And that's truly how we communicate to the universe and then how we communicate to others. So when you show up with an intention, when you show up having a good intention, you're showing up to learn, you're showing up to teach, you're showing up to be compassionate, to be understanding, to be kind, to be loving. These are all going to be felt by the universe and by the people that you're around. A lot of the times, unintentionally, people are going into things, whether it's their day, whether it's a conversation, whether it's their work, no matter what it is, they're going in with an ill intention or they're going in with a negative thought of how it's going to go. They wake up first thing in the morning and they go, oh, today's gonna be terrible. The traffic's gonna be terrible. I'm gonna have such an annoying day at work. My boss is gonna be micromanaging me again. And then what happens? They get out of bed, they get stuck in a bunch of traffic, they have a terrible day, and their boss micromanages them. It's because their intention was to have a miserable day. Now, when you flip that script and you wake up and you say, today's gonna be the best day ever. I'm gonna have a beautiful drive to work. I'm going to get so much work done. It's gonna be such a productive day. I'm gonna learn. I'm going to connect with others. This person is going to have an amazing day because their intention and their intention to the universe was to have a great day. So whether you're speaking something out loud or not, doesn't matter. The universe is always listening to you. And that's why it's really, really important for you to look at and get clear with how do you speak to yourself? What thoughts do you have about other people? A lot of the times I find that when people are struggling, trying to transform their life, it's because they're doing the work in the moments that they're told to. So they start working with a coach and their coach advises them to meditate for 20 minutes in the morning and at night. So for the 20 minutes that they're meditating in the morning and at night, they're super conscious. They are meditating, they're looking at their thoughts, they're being a gentle observer. But then the other hours of the day that they're awake, they're thinking terrible things about themselves or other people, or they're speaking those into existence. And when you speak, you really are casting spells. You are speaking into the universe what you wanna receive. The 
problem is we've grown up in a sick society that is constantly focused on fear, on scarcity, on lack. And so we are constantly told to talk about these things. We're shown that we complain, we gossip about other people. We look at ourselves in the mirror and we body shame ourselves. We look at what we're doing in our work and we feel like we're not good enough. And it creates this constant cycle where we're looking for chaos. And because we're looking for it, our attention is going there. Because we're speaking about it and because we're thinking about it, the circle of chaos continues. So when you start trying to transform your life, you first of all have to be consciously aware that all this is happening. Secondly, you need to be able to still be around these things because you often can't just quit your job. You can't drop all of your friends. You can't drop everyone in your family. So you're now trying to be the gentle observer of your own thoughts in the 20 minutes when you're meditating in the morning and at night. But during the rest of the day, you're getting so caught up with what's going on in the world and you're still trying to fit in because that's really a survival instinct. Think about it. In the past, if you were ostracized from society, you died. You died alone because you didn't have food, you didn't have community, you didn't have shelter, you didn't have safety. So that's still ingrained in us. And what people don't seem to realize is that our survival instinct, our fight or flight reflex is still in our biology. It's just now that we're not running from bears, we almost forget that we have this instinct for fight or flight. But now it shows up in comments, in likes, in emails, in text messages, in phone calls. So you can still be in fight or flight. You just might not consciously be aware of it. And what happens if you're constantly in a state of fight or flight, your adrenal system gets fatigued easily. And that's why it's really important for you to look at what's happening around you and be able to observe it. And the best way for you to still be living in your life, but also going through a spiritual awakening is to set intentions on how you want the day to go. Because even though you're still going to be around a lot of the same people and a lot of the same experiences, your shift in perception is what's going to change the game for you. Your perception, your mindset, your energy, it's all going to work together to make it so you're able to experience the world that you want to live in. It's the intentionality that's going to drive this. And intentionality is something that you really have to consciously build up. It's not something that you're going to wake up one day and be 100% successful in. Here on forward, I am intentional every second of every day. It's just not how it's going to begin. That is perfectionist thinking, and perfectionist thinking is inherently flawed because we aren't perfect and we'll never be perfect. So instead of trying to be perfect, I want you to try and be intentional. So what that looks like is, before you start your day, saying an affirmation of how great the day is gonna be. Before you go into a conversation with somebody, especially if it's a conversation that's on a topic that you might find resistance in when you're speaking to the person. Before you go into the conversation, instead of focusing on how terrible the conversation's gonna go and, oh my God, I'm gonna say this and this person's gonna get mad at me and then we're gonna have a debate and then it's gonna lead to us fighting and then they're not gonna talk to me, they're gonna slam the door on the way out and then I'm gonna lose this friendship. Instead of going into the conversation with that intention, go into the conversation with the intention of, I know that I'm going to talk about some heavy topics in this conversation, but I'm going to say it in such a graceful way that the other person is going to hear me and understand where I'm coming from. And we're going to be able to work together to resolve this in a really beautiful way. Do you see how differently that sounds? That sound is not only a sound frequency, but it's an energetic frequency that you're putting out to the world. And here's the thing, most of the time intentions are thought. You're thinking about these things, you're not saying them out loud. But just because you're not speaking doesn't mean the universe can't hear you. So you wanna really be able to create as many intentions in the day as you can. Because the more intentional you are, the more present you are. 
and it's a reminder for you to not get so caught up in the dramatics of everyday life, but to really come back to how beautiful it is that you're alive and you're getting to experience this present moment. Intentionality is something that you can bring with you everywhere you go, whether it's to meeting new people or walking into a coffee shop. When you pull up to the coffee shop, you can be like, I'm gonna go inside, there's gonna be no line, I have such a nice barista, they're gonna make the best coffee ever, it's going to be such a delightful experience, and then I'm going to feel amazing, and I'm gonna get in my car, and drive back to work, and there's not gonna be any traffic, and I'm gonna be able to sit in my car for five minutes and just relax. This is something that when I first really started thinking about it, I was like, oh my God, why didn't anyone ever teach me to be intentional? Why wasn't this something that we were taught at a young age so that we can decide what our intentions are before we go into a situation? Abraham Hicks likes to call this segment intending, where you decide how a situation is going to go before you get into that situation. But I really just like to think of it as being intentional. And you can always decide what your intentions are. So I really want to challenge you today to start noticing what are the intentions that show up in your mind that are just your habitual intentions? Where does your mind typically go? And just be the gentle observer of it. This isn't about judging yourself, but until you know how you are and how you show up in a day-to-day -day moment, you don't really know the steps to take so that you can get to the life that you're trying to live. Growing up, we really aren't taught how to be intentional, so we are always just modeling what we've seen in the outside world, which tends to be quite nasty. It's when we start becoming intentional that we start taking back our power and we start being able to control our lives. And honestly, one thing that I never hear talked about in the law of attraction community, in the manifestation community, is how your intentions are a driving force in what you manifest. If you really want to manifest $10,000 months, but you're always saying, money is so terrible, people with money are terrible, I'm never gonna have financial freedom, you have this fear about money, then your intention with money is that it's bad and that you don't actually want it. So you're trying to manifest something that you don't actually want because you believe it's bad, so you're never gonna manifest it. If you're not intentional about what you're manifesting, you're never gonna be able to manifest. So it's really about taking control back in your life, realizing that you get to co-create the reality that you're in, and also just having a better mindset about things. I genuinely don't believe that people are born glass half empty or glass half full. I genuinely believe that we were all born glass half full but we grew up in a society that teaches us to be glass half empty people. It's the same cup and anyone can see it two different ways, but which one is going to make you feel better? Which one is going to make you a happier person to be around? It's always going to be the glass half full. Some people grew up with really amazing parents and they had a really amazing upbringing. So when they were programmed from zero to seven, they might just inherently fall on the side of glass half full. But that's because they weren't being taught from glass half empty people. Regardless of how society is teaching us to be lack focused, they grew up around people who were abundance focused. And this is a game changer. And this isn't just a game changer for manifestation. This is a game changer for the rest of your life. It's a conscious awareness that you get to have and then you get to decide how you want things to go for you. And I'm not saying 100% of the time everything's going to go 100% how you intend it to. But what I'm saying is when you're conscious of your intentions, you are constantly checking in with yourself. You're checking in with how you feel. You're also getting clear on what you want to experience in life. Instead of life happening to you, we're allowing life to happen for you because you're giving intentions to the universe of how you want to experience the world. So if you have been living unintentionally where you're just allowing your mind to think negative things or you're assuming the worst case scenario in every situation or about the people that you're around, then I really want you to start looking at your intentions. And this also goes hand in hand with mindset work. 
I think that this is a beautiful way for people to interrupt the programs of their mind. Because oftentimes we are so programmed into one particular mindset that we don't necessarily catch ourselves. But if you are constantly throughout the day saying, what is my intention with this? And that's the question I want you to ask yourself. What is my intention here? What is my intention for today? What is my intention in this conversation? What is my intention in the work I'm delivering? What is my intention? That question alone will transform your life forever. And not just yours, but when you're more intentional and people see how much better your life goes for you, you also will show other people how to show up with intention. Because again, whether you're speaking it or not, people are going to resonate with the energy, with the frequency, with the vibration that you're giving off, because that's truly how we communicate. Words are a secondary form of communication. Energetically, we are always communicating first. You're always picking up on someone's aura, someone's vibe, someone's frequency before they even say anything. Think about when you are at a party or you're out somewhere and someone walks into the room and this person has super negative energy. All of a sudden, you just look over because you get this bad feeling or you get this bad vibe and you look over and this person walked into the room and they have a miserable look on their face. They're walking through people without saying excuse me and bumping into people so they're spilling their drinks. They aren't smiling. They aren't saying hi to anyone. They're just they just look grumpy, but you didn't have to see them to know that. You felt them before they even showed any signs of being a grumpy person. Now, conversely, the opposite is true. When someone walks into a room and they're super high vibe and they're happy and they're loving their life, you feel it and you turn around because you're like, whoa, what is that surge of energy? And you see it's some person that walked into the room and they're smiling and they're saying hi to people and they're hugging them and they're saying, it's so nice to meet you. I've heard so many great things about you. And everybody starts flocking to that person. It's not because they started smiling and saying hi to everyone. Yes, that helped, but that was secondary. The first thing that people felt was their energy. It was their aura. Energy is always going to be felt by everyone and everything. So instead of you focusing on what's going on in the outside world, I want you to start focusing on your internal world, your internal state of being, because you get to intentionally create that. I don't care if you've come from a super traumatic upbringing or you've had very little trauma in your life. You get to be intentional on the quality of life that you create. You get to be intentional on the person that you're being in every moment. So my challenge for you today, this moment, and every moment going forward is how can you show up intentionally? Let me know below in the comments if this resonated with you. Are you feeling me? Do you get the vibe that I'm coming in with? Do you understand the intention behind this video? Because my intention behind this video was to give you a shift in perception, was to allow you to be more present, was to give you a new way of seeing yourself and the world so you can change your life experience if you're not happy with it. My intention is for you to learn the tools, the habits, and the knowledge that you need to live your most fulfilling life. Did you feel it? Did you feel those intentions? If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so that way you can see all of the videos I've got coming for you. My intention is they're going to change your life.